Now we are in the island Druni. It is in Croatia, the farthest location of the Roman Empress and then you wine route. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> this is the good reason to visit Pula. This beach, the name of the beach is Galebove Siene and Pula is located uh, two and a half hours uh, by car from Ljubljana, around three hours from Zagreb. Pula has also an airport. See you in a few hours. Here we are in Arena in Pula and tonight there is going to be a gladiator show. That it was where prisoners, they, they were private property. There is there today uh, something between boxers and the pilots of Formula One. Here she one is. Female. She can speak when I go. We want a strong girl. Do you want to buy her? You can already buy yeah. her. I will take but it. I, just... don't, I don't have this money. I have some other money. Don't worry about the money. We are people of the honor, you know. We have one uh, small interpretation center where we organized exhibition with Roman perfumes and different scents. So uh, this, this kind of smells were very important for the Romans. So they uh, didn't use just perfumes. So they also used perfumes on the clothes and on the body. There are some uh, stories that they also put their perfumes on their pets, for example, for, on dogs but they also use different uh, perfumes for the public spaces, so uh, they put it also in some food. How do you imagine the Romans like? like how do you imagine that time? Ha, it depends if you are rich or if you are poor. <laughs> so for poor people it was not where, I'm sure it was not easy. And, but if you are rich then it was much better, so like today. <laughs> this, is, this is the Roman wine. Honey mm -hmm. and pepper and some leaves. It would taste awful, we couldn't do it. <laughs> cheers! Cheers! cheers. cheers. <laughs> I ja am Roberto Bago, first letter. Roberto, ah? I'm a fighter here. Here we go! We're gonna do it, man! If you just step a little bit of tuna, you can reach Sisek Town and Kupa River and try to hit the out. You see? We can do it, man. Imamo e! Imamo, 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 imamo! Tižje, tižje! It was so fast. I was almost ready, and then I realized it's... It's, it's up there. It's up there, and it's already behind me. I was too late. So we are right now at uh, Erzut wine region, which is one of the Croatian Danube wine regions. As you can see, we are looking at this fantastic Danube, which is actually 
confluencing with Drava just a few kilometers down from here. We are at the festival called Wine and Bike Tour Erdut. We're talking about the wine variety that gives it its best results in whole Slavonia and in the Danube region as, as, as a wine area. It's Graševina. Graševina would be Riesling Italico in its Latin name, Welsh Riesling, Olash Riesling in, in uh, Hungarian, and it gives its best results uh, in, in this part of Croatia. Usually I always say that uh, the wine is uh, first 30 seconds. You like it or you don't like it. Ourselves, we're from Oxford, but we've cycled from Munich. I like following rivers because they, instead of choosing one holiday destination, you get this whole route and a whole change and you just go with the flow of the river and you know it's often you start in mountains and people always say oh you must go downhill all the way, that's not true because you know if a river goes through a gorge you go up and over so you do get mountains to go over but what could I tell you about the Danube bit, I mean it, it's massive <laughs> when you get out towards the sea. Nice, huh? It's dry and it, it has a strong taste, you know. It's, you can feel that it's made of grapes, not of, not of sugar and water. Mm -hmm.